بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد الرسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن اهتر بهدى Every Muslim uh, ask if, if there is any uh, Muslim in America, in North America in, especially in the Masajid, in the Islamic centers uh, got uh, the coronavirus or not um, Yesterday I received one confirmed information that one uh, uh, among our beloved uh, imams and his scholars indeed, and he works with Amja, uh, I don't want to mention his name, but he's at the same time, he's a scholar working with Amja, and at the same time, uh, he's a, a doctor. He's a medical doctor, uh, pediatrics, uh, for the children doctor. Uh, mashallah, because he's very courageous and he's a helper and he works in the hospital, uh, with full belief, want to, to help uh, in this crisis and in this uh, plague. He got it. He, he, he is a positive. He got the, the, the corona. And right now he's in the, the, um, his home. And I heard the good news, alhamdulillah, is getting better. Uh, another uh, also incident happened in um, a city uh, southern of Chicago, close to Chicago. Uh, Romeoville, I think the name of this uh, uh, city, the Islamic center of this city, Romeoville, uh, one of the prayer, one of the Muslims who pray over there, he also, he, he, he got a test and the result was positive. And they put the imam, not the imam, but they only to be a safe side, the imam, he stayed home for 14 days, uh, follow the procedure. And I'd like to let you uh, uh, hearing to to listen to the uh, the brother, one of the brothers working in this masjid. I don't know if he's administrator or chairman talking about uh, this issue. I'd like I want you to to hear him too. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So I just uh, had several. This is uh, brother Amr Abdul Jalil um, from Bolingbrook Masjid, a Muslim Association of Bolingbrook. And um, I just got off the phone with uh, uh, those who were at the Romeoville Masjid last week. The Imam did not test positive. The Imam is totally okay, alhamdulillah. The Imam from last week was actually our Bolingbrook Masjid, Masjid al-Islam's Imam, Hafiz Harun Ahmad. He led the Salah there last week. That being said, um, he, alhamdulillah, was in a, in a rush and uh, as soon as the Salah was done, he did leave. So he did mention that he did not meet anybody who attended the Salah last week. A Musalli who did attend the Salah last week at Masjid, at the, the Romeoville Masjid has a confirmed positively tested case of coronavirus. Um, and that is actually as part of the Will County uh, report that came out today. So uh, we have asked our uh, Hafiz Harun Ahmad of uh, Bolingbrook Masjid al-Islam to go into self-quarantine for 14 days. He doesn't have any symptoms, but uh, he's going to go into self-quarantine. And uh, in our masajid, both Masjid al-Islam and Masjid al-Juma in Bolingbrook are, you know, are shut down. So um, inshallah, may Allah help us all. But this is really, really important that uh, um, those of us who were part of Romeoville Masjid's congregation last week, take the necessary precautions and go into self-quarantine, inshallah. This is very, very, very important because it puts others, you know, you don't have to have the symptoms, but you can be carriers and pass it on to different uh, different, uh, different folks, inshallah. So, Jazakallah, um, may Allah help us all. Uh, you heard uh, this in yours. Here, I'd like to mention something I believe so important. When Muslims live in a normal situation, okay circumstances, no plague, no contagious disease, uh, no uh, problems, no war. When the Muslims live in regular life, there is a place and a space for anyone, so-called uh, du'at or khutaba, or muhaddithun, those who talk and, and they speak well, to talk, no problem. 
But at the time of a crisis, no one should give fatwa or ishtihad or talk about shari matter except those who have knowledge, deep knowledge. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned, لَعَلِمَهُ الَّذِينَ يَسْتَنْبِطُونَهُ مِنْهُمْ those who have who are like an uh, inspector inspector who go deeply to conclude the the the, the hukum and the ruling it is it is not a joke it is something important sometimes some people they give a, a fatwa right and left and ridiculous uh, uh, speech in 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 some uh, uh, dangerous situation Maybe that lead to, to, to kill people or to put the whole community in bad situation. It is something serious. It's not the time. Now we are in, uh, in a time, we are in uh, such uh, circumstances. Nobody should uh, uh, lead the fatwa and lead. The, the not, I'm not talking here only in, in, in Charlotte community or in Muslim uh, communities in the United States. In all over the world especially in the, the, the Arabic world or Muslim world in general, let those who have deep knowledge to talk. We, I just mentioned something about Ibn Hajar, rahimahullah, and he, he mentioned something very important. I'd like to repeat it in this uh, video too. When he said, the first day they used to, uh, to have janazah, 100 uh, janazah a day. After they make dua and they fast three days, and they repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the number increasing. Because there is very simple reason, those who have the contagious disease, they did not quarantine themselves, they did not stay away, they did not stay home, or some uh, far away place from the, the al-asaha, those who are healthy. So we have to follow Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, created al-asbab, created the reason, we have to follow this reason. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala again and again yani, cure all Muslims, cure everybody, and take this hardship from us soon. And now, Allah, Kulisha, Qadir, Jabba, Jabir, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Muhammad, Allah, Ali, Sahih, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam.